Welcome everybody to Tuesday Sports Year. Let's start with the warm up. So a little sports specific warm up for you tonight. We're going to start with hamstring curls alternating lead and row row. These will both be incorporated. Later on, you'll be doing a hamstring curl station and you'll also be doing a low row with your dance. Oh yeah, you're going to need your dance. Stability ball and weights tonight. Good, one more another name. Right here, right now. Four squats. Four, three, two. Back to hamstring curls, alternating, mix and butt. Four more. Back into squats. Here we go. Four squats. Get abs in, chest tall, sit that butt back. Alternate the hamstring curl. Boom. Right there. Four more. And squat. Okay, just loosening everything up, getting all that fascia lubricated in. Butt kick. behind your head, knee to elbow, the lats and crunch, good, four more, three more, two more, we're going to switch sides, other side, here we go, lateral crunch, we're going to follow this up with a bench work, so hands up, touch your toes, walk it out safely, get firm foot, firm hand ground. Either jump back or walk it in. Whichever is most comfortable for you. Start from ground zero. Down we go. Full stretch, full contact with the hands and the feet on the floor. Try not to stick the buttocks. Keeping the core strong. We have two more bags. All the way up, all the way down. Take your time, keep that core strong, make all those engagements at the scapula and at the pelvis. One more. Then we're gonna start with our bench, so we'll take a brief moment to set up the bench, guys. Set up the timer, and we are ready to rock and roll. All right, make sure you're locked in. Our first station, as promised, is going to be an alternating hamstring curl. I think we're good, here we go. Always take the time to make sure that you're locked in. Moving that bench around would be easy for those little pitons to become unclipped. You don't want your bench to be sliding around over here. Adding that little row there. Warming us up for the low row on the bench later. If you wanted to slow this row up, by all means, you could slow it up. I'm going to take it up tempo. All right, great. Grab your weights. We're going to be doing a deadlift. Set your weights up. And friend, if you can, on your bench. Stick your feet right under your bench. Hip hinge, booty back. Grab your weights. Pin your arms back from your armpits. Stand all the way up, full extension. And again, going down. Full extension up. Good, so at the top of the movement, the chin is parallel to the floor, the chest is lifted, the abdominal muscles are engaged, and you can really make that glute connection. Think about driving down in the heels 
And that will help you make that hamstring glute connection. Good, so push the buttocks back. Think about lengthening the line of the spine. Keeping the weights right on your body, really close to you. There it is, there's the timer, guys. Set your weights down. Grab your ball and your mat for the lateral crunch. Now you're gonna have to fix your feet for this one. So I'm just gonna pull my bench quickly out of the way. You may need your mat under you if you have to put a knee down, adjusting my camera so that you can see me. There we go. So can leave her feet. Hands behind the head if you can. If you're having trouble balancing here, one hand on the ball. Lateral crunch. Just like we did in our warm-up. And of course, you could always slow this down. You don't have to keep tempo with the music. Because we're on that roller pony surface, even with your feet anchored, up against something, not anchored down. Balance will still be an issue. All right, there's our minute. The setup took a little bit of time. Ball Superman is next. I'm gonna throw my mat down to minimize any foot slip. We're gonna lay face first on the ball. And from here, extend one arm and one leg. Good. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing great. I'm just going to make a camera adjustment here again. So work in the sides and then the back. I want you to think about pointing your toe behind you if you can. Balancing and staying very sturdy and stable on your ball. Reaching in opposition. Try not to elevate the shoulder there or pinch too deeply into the lower back. All right, hang on one second. There goes our bell. Oh, yes. All right. We're on the inchworms already, guys. Now, if you want to use your mat for your inchworms, by all means, you can use your mat. I'm just going to use my floor. Up overhead, down I go. Ball minute inchworms. Remember, you can walk it in or you can hop it in. Whichever you're more comfortable with. Additionally, you can also just walk your hands back to your feet. I pause in my high plank. Walked it in that time. Next time I'm going to walk my hands to my feet just so you can see how that happens. Almost like doing it reverse. Inchworm. Again, hops are optional. All right, we're going to follow that up with squats. So please grab your weights. Carrying your weights are on the shoulder in a shoulder or front rack position or down by your sides. You can also hook it right at your waistband, whichever you're comfortable with. Go ahead with your squats. The clock is running. There is no rush. We're going to take our time. Make sure that we're keeping that spine line long. Chin is parallel to the floor. And we're squatting deep enough that we can feel that wonderful stretch of the backside. And when we come up, we get a full extension at the knee without walking out. And you're not going to believe it, but we're already flying through round one. There it is. There it is, Kim. L-step, following the L-step, seated 
breath. Make sure you've got plenty of room for your L step. You're going to need side room, both sides of the bench.
where it's a little bit hard to maintain your stabilization at the same time. Crunching into that, those lateral muscles, which is not the typical everyday movement, but it is great for those sidelines. And great for your back. The back muscles are contracting heavily as well. All right, from here, ball Superman. So jump right on that ball, face first. Another camera adjustment for the purposes of the film. And again, don't wait for me. If you guys are ready, jump right on that Superman and be a super strong woman. Extending in opposition, being sure not to overly arch the back, the lower back in particular. Breathing steady. Imagine if you could draw your belly button up off that ball. Just think about that for a second. Feel that booty connect right where your thigh and butt cheek come together. Make that connection consciously if you're not feeling it intuitively. All right, there's the bell. Another camera adjustment for the film. And inchworm. Here we go. All the way up, all the way down, all the way out. Make sure you've got firm hand grip, firm footing. Hop or walk in, whichever you prefer. Walking in, of course, will accentuate the flexibility, and hopping in will as well. You've got to have that dynamic flexibility in that backside in order to get those legs and those feet right under you on that hop. Plus a little bit of fast twitch five power fibers acting there for the propulsion. Abs are fixed the whole entire time. This will really get your heart rate up. Oh, bell is ringing, bell is ringing. Squat. This will be followed by our L step. Again, choose the rack of your comfort, either front rack, side, or at the waistband. Again, think about your posture. Try not to dominate with me. Making that hip action, knee action, correspondingly. Sitting the glutes back, chin parallel to the floor. We don't want to rubber neck, we don't want to look down, right? We don't want to bend too far forward. Awesome. There it is. There it is. Followed by the L step. Locking in. Safety check. And whenever you're ready, block is running. Lasted about 10 seconds. I lost about 10 seconds on the transition because my bench was disheveled. But I was taking that time. It's a good habit to have. Third footing on the bench, foot all the way up in the glass. Working the lateral hip, as well as the front and back. Posture optional. There it is. There's the bell again. You probably heard it. All right. Row and 
we are at the bottom of round two already. Goes by so fast. The hardest exercise you get to do today is just getting yourself here. The rest is easy. Again, fixing the feet. Neutral spine. Strong row. Back and biceps. So we've got hinging movements, squatting movements, pushing movements, pulling movements. All good. Even rotation, right? Or anti-rotation on the ball. With that lateral crunch. Gotta love that one. Speaking of which, in the third round, we'll be doing 30 seconds flip. 30 seconds. There it is. Alternating hamstring curl. Remember to check your bench. And whenever you're ready, jump on. Great mode of cardiovascular activity. Lower impact than, say, running. But cardiovascularly, similar to jogging, just due to the nature of the elevation. Propulsion or hopping will increase the intensity, of course. Keep it moderate to hard, and you're in your zone. So not fairly easy and not very hard, but just somewhat hard is what you're going for. Or even hard, especially in the third round at this hour of the day. All right, deadlift. Squaring up, using my legs. Yes. Set it up strong, and when you're ready, deadlift that weight. So again, making sure that the buttocks go straight back. Think about elongating the line of the spine. Yeah, I'm gonna look right down at the floor here. I'm gonna make sure to keep the head Simply as an extension of the rest of my spine. Pushing that booty back there emphasizes that hamstring stretch as I require more length. And that means more elastic recoil. So I get a little bit more work out of those glute fibers. All right, gang? And that's what it's all about. Maximizing that efficiency. Lateral crunch. Hop on the ball, guys. We only got 30 seconds. I have an escapee. Pushing this back out of the way. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get the hang of exactly where we want to rest our hip on the ball. Once you get that feeling though, you'll know exactly how much of you you want to have extended off that ball. Okay, go ahead and slip. That'll just take a second to set up. Once you have your balance, go into that lateral crunch. I'm careful not to twist my spine here. Top leg fully extended, bottom leg slightly bent. Both feet fixed against the edge of my counter. You could wedge them up against the weight machine. All right, flip over, third dog. Now again, this is anti-rotation. We're going for stability. Length and muscular strength and endurance. Drawing up through the abs. Feeling strong and long, all that good stuff. And again, sometimes it takes a little bit to figure 
figure out exactly where you want to be on the ball. You can try changing that up. I just drove more of my upper body forward. I'm liking the in unstable <laughs> position. Just changing it up. Turning on my nervous system a little bit differently. Helping me refine my center so that I can balance in that newly extended position. Again, feel so free, free to play with those positions and challenge yourself. Okay, gang, there goes the bell. Readjustment of my camera. And we are off to Inchworm. Followed by our squat. Now your hands will be sticky from the sweat. A little less chance that they'll slip, but always be careful. Take your time. Stay safe. No face plants allowed. Stay strong through the core, strong through the shoulder girdle. Feel those pecs fire. It's like a dynamic plank with either a beautiful walk-in stretch or a hop-in stretch. Like playing loop frog. There it is. Grab your waist, guys. Squat. Whenever you're ready. Challenging that flexion at the hip and the knee in this third set. Trying to drop it down. Causes any discomfort in the knee. Stop short of that, however. Any discomfort in the back. Stop short of that as well.
gradually bring ourselves down through the mat. I'm just going to find something a little bit more quiet because these do not have quiet songs in them at all. All right. So have your mat handy. But like I said, we're not necessarily going to use it right away. Okay. So we're going to start with anterior shoulder, neck stretches, and some stretches for the forearms, all right? So anterior shoulder, standing sideways, I'm gonna roll the shoulders back, okay? So a lot of people can't do this, especially if you have that rounded kyphotic posture, you're gonna have really short, tightened anterior shoulder muscles and rotators, so you're, I'm gonna ask you to try and round your shoulders back. So if you have a crease right here in your T-shirt, Take the crease out, iron the crease out. Okay, just keep your feet a comfortable distance apart. Balance your body over your feet. I know that sounds weird, but I don't want you to be shifted to one side or the other. Hold that nice stretch. Feel the stretch, by the way, not only in the anterior shoulder, but also in the front of your forearms. That'll feel good after using those grippers, right? Awesome. Okay, pec stretch, butterfly. Bring the elbows together, good. Now, push your head back into your hands and push your hands pretty firmly into the back of your head. Open, 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 open. Draw the abs, elevate the sternum, okay, but not from the low back that's coming right here from that bra strap area. Hold that stretch. Again, comfortable position with the feet. If this is uncomfortable for your lower back, just reduce it a little bit. It means you're transferring into the lower back a little bit to compensate perhaps for a lack of flexibility in that thoracic region. Just remember, the ankle bone's connected to the leg bone. All right. From here, we're going to transition to the mat. We're going to start on our back. We're gonna start with a knee hug stretch. I'm just gonna push my bench out of the way. So knee hug stretch to start. So this is gonna help open up that lower back. And now if you have any trouble maintaining this position, if you find that your, your head wants, or your neck wants to arch up off the floor, for example, simply roll up your mat Create a little pillow or bolster, and try it again. Whatever you need to do to make sure that your spine is as neutral as possible while you stretch. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and float one leg down, extend the other leg up. We're gonna stretch out those hamstrings. Just try to get that knee straight. Now, if your leg's down here, that's cool. Wherever it needs to be, if you can straighten that knee, if you lift it to here and the knee bends, lower it back down and straighten the knee. You can always use your band to hold your leg up or help you. Great. From there, we're going to cross the ankle across the knee. We're going to shift into our figure four stretch. So stretching out right into those glutes. Work them so hard for the squats and the deadlifts tonight. We want to ease that tension back out. Relax those fibers, relax those protein filaments. Or protein, I'm like little cross hairs. Okay, we're going to place that top foot down on the floor. We're going to extend the other leg up, hold that stretch. Beautiful stretch for the hamstrings here, nice and supported. across the knee for the figure four stretch. And again, you can play with the angle of this stretch simply by angling toward your foot. Oh my goodness, just like five degrees, maybe even just two or three degrees. Depending upon how tight your glutes are, that'll dictate. Remember, mild tension only. Pain is always a signal to stop and or modify. Never go into the point of pain. Great. 
Alrighty. Rolling over onto our front side for the quadricep stretch. Think about lengthening the thigh bone. I'm gonna rest the back of my, my head rather, off my forehead on the back of my arm. Thinking about pressing the hips gently down toward my mat so they're not popping up. That would be an indication of some really super short hip flexors there. Not gonna allow that to happen. I'm gonna stretch through those hip flexors. One of the quadriceps is one of those. And we're gonna switch to the other side. If this causes any discomfort in your knee, you may try a side line stretch. And there's also a seated version of this stretch. That kind of looks like a figure four. You know, slight pressure through the hips. When you're ready, you can push yourself up into quadruped position. Come on up to standing. Tuesday torture, that's a wrap. <laughs>